we understand it's a financial crisis when any individual is laid off. And we at DOL are doing everything in our power to manage this tsunami of claims that have been submitted. So please be patient as we get to your claims. Once processed, they will include retroactive payments. We already doubled in one week the number of UI uh, payments going out. Let me put uh, the, these burgeoning numbers in perspective. Since March, 30, uh, March 13th, there have been 302,000 claims submitted. Now that is two years of normal claim activity in just one month. Of those 302,000, we've managed to process 132,000. Yet there remains 170,000 outstanding that we're getting at as fast as we can, uh, all using our 40-year-old COBOL computer system. So what else are we doing about it? We've quadrupled staff. We're working overtime. Uh, we're working weekends. As a result of that, we've processed 10 times the normal weekly load that our processors would normally process. And all of this, while staff are enduring the same COVID threats as everyone else, that's still not enough. We introduced a technical fix number one, where we uh, emailed applicants who had already submitted their claims to resubmit their claims through uh, what we have in our uh, uh, system as a temporary shutdown file, which is completely automated. That yielded another 40,000 more process claims, but that still was not enough. So we're working on another technical fix, plan B we call it, which will basically force claims into the automated process. And we're testing that right now and we hope to have seriously reduce the backload, uh, uh, the backlog uh, with this intervention. Timeline on this is is hopefully days, and if that works, we'll be able to re uh, convert uh, a, a huge amount of those claims uh, relatively quickly over two or three days. 